Welcome to this installment in the Excite Pro tutorial series. If you're looking for ways of generating revenue with your sites, one really effective way of doing so is by partnering with the granddaddy of all online retailers, Amazon.com, who themselves operate a well-established affiliate program. You just place a banner on your site, and they pay you a percentage every time a person buys from them as a result of clicking on your banner. Note that Amazon is a cost per acquisition program and not a pay-per-click model such as that offered by Google AdSense. Amazon only pays you if the user actually buys something. This tutorial will teach you three handy methods of leveraging Amazon content into your Excite Pro sites to help you make money. So let's get started by inserting a product link, which is probably the most common of the three. Before you do anything, you'll need to sign up as an Amazon associate. You can learn all about the process as well as actually sign up by clicking here. Now that you've signed up, we need to figure out exactly where the product link will appear on our site. For example, you could add a link to an individual page, or one of the page panels so that it appears on every page of your site. Just make sure that wherever you put it can accommodate an object that's 120 pixels wide at the very least. To insert your product link, just right-click where you want it to go, go to Insert Advertising, then Amazon, and choose Product Link. This command can also be accessed through the toolbar. First things first, we need to supply Excite Pro with your Amazon Associates login information. It needs to associate those links with your Associates account so that Amazon knows where to send the revenue your account generates. And it's a one-time process to enter these details. Just click the Open Amazon Account Settings button and choose Add New Amazon Account. And it's simple. Just add your username, password, and choose which of the international Amazon sites you registered with. There, all done with that part. Now, let's pick the product we'd like to promote on our site. All you have to do is head over to Amazon, find a product you'd like to promote, and make a note of its ISBN, in the case of books, or ASIN code. Paste it into this field, and click Find. A preview appears, and yep, that's the product I wanted. You can adjust the aesthetics of your advert a bit by clicking on the Step 2 Settings tab. Text and image is the default type, but you can choose to go with an image or text exclusively if desired. You can pick colors for the background and text to help it blend in better with your site. In this case, I'm going to make the text dark olive green. And I'm going to remove the border because I want it to appear like it's part of the page and not some external link. You can also affect the alignment, pricing display, and size of the image if appropriate. Click OK when you're ready to lay it down. And there it is. Let's preview the page in order to get the full effect. Nice. Now, let us cover the other two types of Amazon links. With the product link, you are pointing to something very specific. But how about if you'd rather have Amazon recommend some products that you believe your audience would find interesting? This time, let's insert a recommended product link. In this case, we have to only specify a department, such as DVDs, electronics, or obviously books. And of course, Amazon has dozens of these departments. And then enter a keyword or two. Amazon takes that information and automatically generates one or more links on the banner size you select. And of course you have the same alignment and other display options, but I think this looks pretty good. The final option is for those of you who want to exert no control whatsoever about the advert Amazon picks to display. It's called the self-optimizing link, or omikase, which in Japanese roughly means chef's choice. Amazon will analyze your page's content and automatically come up with a contextually relevant advert. It's a great choice for content creators who generate articles and other dynamic content and therefore works really well in concert with the multi-page creation or import pages wizards. 
and of course you have the same kind of aesthetic customization options as before. But in this case you'll only see a rough estimation of what the ad will ultimately look like. It will only show up in finished form when you publish. By working in collaboration with the world's largest e-tailer, you can easily turn web traffic into a viable business.